So now let's see how we can work around with, uh, let's say, for example, adding a constraint onto an object space with another object. So to do that, first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Shift A on my keyboard. I'm going to go around onto the mess and then let's say I'm going to bring in a UB sphere. You can increase and decrease the values just like this, but let me just go around and keep this simple, right? Just like this. So now once I have the sphere, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around, press tab on my keyboard and I want to select an area where I want to constrain an object. So let's say I want to constrain it around the space right here. So I'm going to select these four vertices and then I'm going to turn it into a group. So in order to turn it into a group, I'm going to go around over here onto object data properties and click on the plus button. So a group is there. So now I'm going to click assign and what happens is that the group is created for this four vertices altogether. I'm going to click outside and press tab on my keyboard and then in order to add an object, I'm going to go around and then press shift A on my keyboard and then I'm going to go around and let's say, for example, I'm going to bring ISOS isosphere right here and let's say I want to resize this out right here, just like this. I'm going to resize this out and bring it onto the top to make it smaller. So now what I want to do is I want to go around and link this object right here onto the face. So I'm going to select this and go on to uh, the object constraint properties, click on add object constraint. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around onto copy transformation. So once I do that, you can see that there's the target, which I'm going to click and select the sphere. So once I do that, you can see that it actually attaches onto the sphere. Uh, so what I want to do is I want it to be actually attached onto the face. So I'm going to go to vertex group and select group. And now you can see that it is in another section. So what I'm going to do now is let's say uh, I want to scale this out right here, scale this out. You can see that the sphere uh, that you have is actually being attached onto the face. So if I were to go around onto edit mode, select this vertices right here, you can see that it actually um, like keeps the spear right there. So I can move this out. The spear is actually sticking onto that face right there. So if I were to move this around right here, just like this, move this around, that is where it sticks. And that is how you can use the constraint inside of Blender to uh, actually stick an object onto a part of another object so hope you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe